Generations of film fans have been raised on a diet of Laurel and Hardy's screen comedies, their brand of humour appealing to young and old alike. Though they were masters of big screen slapstick, honed whilst making short films during the silent cinema era, Laurel and Hardy's talking pictures often contained some witty wordplay too, where many screen comedians of the silent era struggled with the advent of talking pictures. Laurel and Hardy demonstrated a surprising confidence in adapting to talkies, and their film's reputation for outrageous slapstick often belies the witty, fast-paced dialogue of their pictures. Laurel and Hardy's first sound film was Unaccustomed as We Are in 1929, whose opening moments parody the stilted nature of many early talkies, and in which Ollie delivers for the first time what would become one of the pair's most enduring catchphrases, Why don't you do something to help me? Laurel and Hardy's work as a comedy double act began in 1927 with his short film Putting Pants on Philip. Their final film together was Atoll K in 1950. Stan and Ollie, the new film by Scottish director John S. Baird, whose two previous features as director were Cass in 2008 and the Irvine Welch adaptation Filth in 2013, takes as its focus the years following Laurel and Hardy's final picture. The film examines the pair's final tour of the music hall circuit in Britain during 1953 and 1954, three years before Oliver Hardy's death. During the film, we are presented with flashbacks to Laurel and Hardy's glory days during the 30s, working for film producer Hal Roach, played here by Denny Houston. In the present, Laurel and Hardy are faced with dwindling audiences, a deteriorating relationship, the pair's spiky wives and Oliver Hardy's failing health. As Laurel and Hardy, Steve Coogan and John C. Riley are closely observed and pitch perfect, though it has to be said not quite as on point as the two Laurel and Hardy impersonators I once saw eating a meal in character no less at the food court above the Prospect Centre in Hull during the late 1990s. What's equally well observed in this film, however, um, and filled with period detail, are the dingy music halls in which Laurel and Hardy are asked to perform. Something that is often forgotten is that Laurel and Hardy's comedy could sometimes be outrageously black, Witness the skit in Flying Juices, which revolves around a lovesick Ollie's decision to commit suicide by flinging himself into the Seine. Within this context, the quietly melancholic tone of Stan and Ollie fits like a glove. The doctors told me I can't continue with the tour. My heart won't take it. He asked me, since you were sick, if I wouldn't mind carrying on the show with somebody else. May I introduce to you Mr. Nobby Cook? You're not leaving, are you, Stan? The show must go on. That was pure magic. It's brilliant. We like to finish now with a little dance. You sure? I can do it. I'll miss us when we're gone. So will you. How is it now? Hold this. Do we really need that trunk? <laughs>